So in today's project, I'm going to show you how to carve these goofy pumpkins. And they're really not that hard to do, but it's a great way to use up old scraps of white cedar in this case, which is what I've got right here. So in the beginning, what I did was I had all these pieces that looked like this that I couldn't use because they had a lot of knots. I went out, I cut them down, and then I used the bandsaw to do like this, and I turned them into a stack that looked like that. So you're, you're taking something that you would otherwise probably throw out and really turning it into something that uh, makes people laugh. They love these things. And when they're painted up, they can look like this or even like this. So it's an easy project to do, and I'll show you the details of it. And when I put these curly cues in at the top here, what I do is I just take a, a 1 8 inch drill bit, and I drill down just a little bit, like about half an inch, and I curl these up using floral wire, and I just kind of put a V in the bottom of it. I stick it in the hole, and then I have like a little dowel that's 1 8 of an inch. It's maybe, oh, I don't know, about a half inch long, and I just kind of pound that into the hole so I don't even use glue. Anytime you use glue, sometimes the paint sticks, sometimes it doesn't stick. This is an easy way. It's quick, and these things aren't coming out, and you can do any sort of design on the top, but people love these things, and I'll show you how to do it, folks. It's pretty easy and straightforward. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a chance to use my my little wood handcraft uh, wood carving tool here. This is the AutoMac wood carving tool. And I'm not going to do all the work with it, but I leave this blade on it, like you see there, and I just hammer it out. So I got my ratty jacket on and sitting in the dirtiest corner of the house here, just go to it. And what you want to do is just take all these edges off and just kind of clean it up a little bit. Okay, so once I get to this point, I switch over to this, and I continue the rough out process.
Okay, what you can see at this point is I've got everything but the top done. And on this part, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. These little guys are sort of rough, but you just want to round this off. One tip I'll give you guys, um, these are basically white cedar spindles and you can get them at your big box stores. I think you probably will find that you have to order like a, a small crate of about $100 worth. But when you get them and you chop the spindles up the way you like them according to what you're going to carve, what you should do is just take some clear polyurethane, water-based, thin it about 30% and then just paint them up and you want to seal as much as you can. Just paint the whole thing over, do it again, and you'll prevent a lot of this cracking, by the way. But sometimes they'll crack anyway. Then they just become pumpkin heads. But using that water-based polyurethane is a really good way. And again, you just want to thin it with water about, I don't know, 25-30%. because when you put them in the house and you've got that forced air furnace running in the winter time and it gets down to about 15 percent humidity, they're going to want to crack. Okay, and then what you need to do is put the lines in for the pumpkin. I'm going to use this crack as a line. There's another one. You want to set it up so you can avoid these knots. I'm going to use this V gouge. You don't want to push too hard, but you want to make a nice little groove. Carry that all the way to the top. Okay, then you want to look at it and just figure out which side is going to be the face. These are nice and clear, so I'm going to use this as the face. I'm just going to smooth it out just a little bit. Take some of these high points.
then you want to figure out where you want to put the eyes. And I think I'll do a eye right here. Just sketch it in. I want to go with a smaller eye right here. Like that. Then to do the eyes, what I do is I just use a gouge like this. And you just want to follow that line. A little bit of pressure, rotate it. little bit of pressure like that and you got it. For the smaller eye, just take a smaller gouge. that. And then you just carefully want to ease that wood out. A little bit of pressure. And same thing with the small one. Then what you want to do is kind of figure out how you want the smile or whatever facial expression you want them to have. So in this case, I'm just going to go like this. So then you want to take your 45 degree gouge and just follow that line again. One thing to keep in mind is your carbon white cedar, so it's sometimes it gets a little what I call punky. You'll get some of that, but we'll take care of that. Just go over it again if you have to, or use the, the sandpaper.
out like that. So the next thing I'd like to do is just give them sort of stitch marks. You just want to do that by going like this. Like that. And just clean it up a little bit. And you've pretty much got it at this stage. Then what I do is I take a 1 8 inch drill. You don't even have to use a drill press. You just drill the hole. You can kind of see where I got a little dowel. You can even use a, a food skewer, I think, or basically 1 8 of an inch. Or you can go to the hardware store or big box store and get a dowel. But I just snip off about quarter inch, half inch, drill the hole, take a continuous piece of wire, wrap it around a dowel, put a little V on the bottom of it with your pliers, push it in the hole, push the dowel in until it's level, and pretty much you're done. So at this stage, folks, you can see this one's been sanded lightly, this one hasn't, and that's the next step. You just want to get in there with the sandpaper and clean it up and paint it up. And I did a close-up view of some of the eyes so you can see what they look like. But this is a really quick project. Once it's done, it looks great, and it's sure to put a smile on people's faces for sure. When they see these things, they always seem to laugh. So folks, thanks for joining me, and until next time.